hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is mary jane and today i'll be sharing with you guys how to make this delicious banga stew or ofaku as the Igbos call it so sit back and keep watching so aside the palm kernel these are the rest of the main ingredients I have my yellow and red peppers. I also have my obey, which is known as the fermented castor seed, and also the African nutmeg, also known as ehu in Igbo language. These ingredients are going to give the stew that native aroma and native taste. I also have some blended crayfish and some seasoning cubes some onions this recipe needs a lot of onions stock fish this is actually optional you can do without it and some dried catfish just about two sizable catfish i'll be using two vegetables for this recipe ugu and scent leaves and then i also have some goat meat some beef and finally mackerel fish so let's just get right into the cooking so to save time i boiled my palm kernel off camera and once it was soft i'm just transferring it to a mortar and i'm going to be pounding it with a pistol you can also use a bucket and a bottle for this just anything that will make you, you know, be able to smash the skin out of the kernel without actually breaking the kernel into pieces. So once you are done pounding, this is what it should look like. So I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl. So I'm using a big bowl for this because I'm pounding about 4 kilograms of kernel, which is like one paint of palm kernel. So once I'm done, I'm just going to start adding hot water. The water is boiled so as to help me extract all the juice from the flesh of the palm kernel. So now I'm just going to dilute it with, you know, cold, normal temperature water. And I'll work on it like this with my hand. To make this process faster, make sure you're using a big bowl. Or big pot or whatever just make sure you have a wide surface to work on so I've added some more water to make sure everything comes out of the flesh so the next thing is I got a pot and a sieve so I'll just be fetching the extract from the bowl and transferring it into the pot through the sieve the sieve is going to help me hold out whatever chaff or you know the palm kernel that I don't want to go into the pot I'll just repeat this process until I am done and until all the juice is extracted from the flesh after this process this is what my palm kernel extract looks like this is the extract I got from four kilogram of palm kernel that's about one paint I won't be using everything I'm going to take some and store the rest for later so this is the amount I will be using for this recipe. So my stew is boiling now and you just have to wait for it to boil for a while until the oil floats on top. There are people who scoop out this foamy part of the stew and you know throw away. I don't know the reason why they do that but I don't do that. I just let it boil until you know the oil comes on top. And I'll start adding my ingredients so while the stew is boiling I've gone ahead to start you know boiling my meat and I'm adding my beef to a neat pot I'm also going to add my goat meat So to season this, I'm only using 
salt cameroon pepper and seasoning cube i'm supposed to add onions at this point but i didn't even remember until like 100 years later <laughs> I didn't remember to add onions at this point but it's very important that you add onion at this point of um, prepping your meat so after combining it I just placed it on a pot to steam and you can see all the liquid I don't know what it is about goat meat but goat meat always you know produces a lot of liquid even before you start adding water so I steamed my meat for about 5 to 7 minutes and to get it to cook more properly I'm going to be adding some water and then I'll cover and let it boil. So I'll go ahead to clean up my fish, my stock fish and catfish and to do this I'll be adding some hot water. So I'll let the fish sit in the hot water for about a minute or two. This is going to help me get rid of any dirt or any chemical or whatsoever they use in storing the fish before I bought it. So I'm just going to debone my catfish, clean it up and set it aside. So this is what the fish looks like after cleaning it. So finally, after 100 years later, this is when I remember to add my onions. Please don't be like me. Add your onion at the initial stage <laughs> of preparation. So this is my African nutmeg, the ehu. So to get the best flavor out of this ingredient, I'll be grilling it in my microwave for about 2 minutes. You can also do this. Maybe you place it on top of your stove, on top of your cooker, just for you to roast a little. You can also choose to use it that way, it's fine, it all depends on your preference. So two minutes later, I've transferred it to the mortar and I'll be pounding it alongside my pepper and obi. So the first ingredient I'll be adding is my onion. Once you see the oil start floating on top of the stew, like this then you can go right ahead and start adding your ingredients i'm also adding my stock fish at this point because it's actually very very tough you can also choose to wait for the foamy part of the stew to completely disappear before you start adding your ingredients but that's going to give you a very thick stew at the end of the day and i don't want this stew to be too thick plus it's going to take extra cooking time because you have to wait for like extra 30 minutes for the stew to boil down and reduce some more and that's when the foamy part completely disappears but i don't think it's necessary so once you see the oil floating on top start adding your ingredients but at the same time it's all up to you and your preference so i've added two tablespoons of salt for some reason this recipe needs a lot of salt compared to other recipes and the next thing is the pepper and obei that i pounded earlier So once that boils, the next ingredient I'll be adding is my crayfish. I'm going to let it boil some more and then I'm going to add my seasoning cube. I've gone ahead to add the stock, the little stock from the meat. And the next thing is my catfish. Mind you, I didn't add all this ingredient at once. I added them intermittently. So you just let one ingredient boil before adding the next. So I've added my catfish and I'm going to let it boil for about five minutes before finally adding my meat. So I'm adding my meat towards the end of the cooking because it's already soft the way i want if your meat is still tough you can add it you know earlier so it could boil down and become more tender but i'm adding mine at this point because it has cooked enough 
so my stew is already looking so so delicious you know what to do at this point if you're still watching this video at this point please please give this video a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe please do so now thank you <laughs> so i'm adding two more seasoning cubes because um the stew needed a little bit more seasoning and i've added salt and now i'm going to be adding my fish this is the perfect time to add your fish unless of course you want it to shatter but this is the perfect time to add it i'm just going to let it boil some more give it a stir before adding my vegetables so once that boils i'm going to add my scent leaf so because of the protein and the rich rich in this stew the stew has you know come up to the brim of the pot <laughs> so i'm just going to stir in my scent leaf and i'm going to let it boil for just about a minute before adding my ugu leaves i don't even let the ugu leaf to boil at all i just stir in and then i turn off the heat once i turn off the heat this is what the stew looks like it looks delicious so this is just exactly how i want my stew to be this is just perfect i don't want it to be too runny or too thick because give this stew two more hours it's going to become more thicker because once it gets cold it becomes thicker so this is it from me today guys thank you so much for watching this stew is perfectly enjoyed with white rice you can see how it's looking 10 minutes later it's looking thicker like i said earlier and more beautiful so i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye